Welcome to Columbus, Georgia. All right, guys. So from where our hotel is today, I can quite literally walk to Alabama. But Columbus, Georgia is right on the Alabama border. City of about 200,000 people. And a bunch of people who live in Alabama who come over here as well. Now, it's a lot more diverse here on the Columbus side than it is on the Alabama side. You do have Phoenix City on the other side. And downtown is not too bad here. It's uh, definitely walkable. So usually Sundays in the South are kind of kind of slow speed, but there are people out and about. And there's Alabamians here. So Columbus, Georgia doesn't have the greatest reputation and it is a military town, which means there's a lot of people that just come here and then leave. There's a sculpture here of some sort. See, there are a lot of Spanish people coming out here. They got reggaeton playing on their car. I can hear the song Impacto playing from Daddy Yankee. So there are a lot of uh, people coming here. Some parts of downtown pretty much look like any other Southern city in that they're completely vacant, like this section here. But there are people walking about. And again, it is a Sunday in the South, so it's not gonna be wild. I have noticed in my little walk that there are a lot of Spanish people out and about. Um, it's nothing like Miami or Tampa, but they're definitely here. And again, a lot of people are desperate to get out of the big cities like Tampa, Miami, and Orlando because they just can't afford it. And they're kind of concerned moving into the South. I mean, you saw me in Montgomery how that went and they don't want to go to the same things. Like a lot of people want to get out of the expensive places so they can live a little bit better, be homeowners and stuff. But when they make the move, it's a little difficult. Now, I will tell you this, sometimes we're a little bit more social and we're a little bit more get out of the house type of people. So a lot of times we end up being more propense to be walking downtown, let's say. So you might come to downtown and like half the people you see might look like they're clearly from a Spanish background. 30 or 40% of people out here might be Spanish right now. Doesn't mean 30% of the city is Spanish. It just means that if there's 400 Spanish people in town, like 300 of them showed up to go for a walk. So I've noticed that in a lot of cities like Augusta, Georgia, on the other side of Georgia, where statistically the doesn't show like there's a lot of Spanish people. But if you go to downtown, you see a lot of Spanish people. And it's just because of our nature and our customs from the countries we come from, Colombia, Cuba, whatever, Central America. Our custom is just to go for a walk downtown as a normal thing. It's just a part of our, our culture. So despite the fact that the Spanish population in some of these towns in Georgia is not the highest by percentage, but they are active starting business and doing stuff. And they're just kind of more out and about and less likely to be at home. Now, is, is Columbus a hub for people moving to from other places? I highly doubt it, man. Like, I'm not really, uh, I don't see the city there yet. But with time, we definitely, the amount that I say, they definitely could. Be nice to see a little restaurant right here. What would say Augusta, Georgia seemed kind of more, but see, I hear reggaeton playing over here. So I'm saying, like, it is starting to be more Spanish. You know what I mean? It's starting to get there. It's not there yet, but it's, you see little traces of it here and there. I will say this, um, compared to let's say Montgomery, it does feel a little bit more, kind of, a little bit more progressive than Montgomery. So for people looking for a city to relocate, the affordability of this city is incredible. Now it's got problems like any city, like any city this size is gonna have its problems. And um, there's still a long way to go. So is Columbus a good place to move to? It's definitely affordable, but there's problems here that the YouTube realtors aren't gonna tell you about. One of them is that a lot of the neighborhoods in the city are just complete hoods in bad shape. Every city has a hood, but not every hood is like 95% of the city boundaries. So there's definitely a lot more here uh, as far as that to be concerned with than in other places. As you can see today on the Sunday, People are driving by, blasting their music, going for a walk downtown. 
the city does have a lot of gangs. Now, out of all the cities that I do videos in, despite the fact that there is a poverty problem here, there's definitely a gang problem, a street violence problem, this city has been one of the most supportive places that I have ever recorded videos. I'm not surprised that I haven't ran into somebody who knows me here yet because my videos here have done really well. So it seems like, at least for my YouTube channel, despite the fact this isn't a big city on this road trip, I had to make it a point to come out here because every time I upload a video from here, I get a lot of good positive feedback where in other parts, um, like Montgomery, for example, or there's just cities you just get a lot of bad feedback from. So with pretty good um, affordability and that being a massive problem for a lot of people in a lot of places. Today. It's no doubt that a lot of people are considering Columbus as a place to end up. While true that no place is absolutely perfect, it does offer a lot of affordability. We're gonna see the waterfront here in a little bit. There's a little river that comes through here that's famous. Um, not too far away from here is Newton, Georgia. Uh, the home of country star Alan Jackson. One of my favorite country singers. So it is an area that has a lot of culture. For the most part, the biggest misconception that you're going to find among, let's say, like realtors and stuff who are trying to promote the city is that they're going to leave out some of the obvious problems the area it's has. It's a very quiet, slow speed of life. But the difference between a place like this is like, let's say on a on a week weeknight or something, let's say a Friday or Saturday night. Um, I'm not saying it packs up here, but you're definitely not going to be out and about like you would in New York City or Miami late at night in some of these towns in the south. What I found is that outright it's not exactly that people are boring in some of these cities in the south it's that you better pack it up if you want to stay alive so enough talking about their downtown district let's see what the water looks like there are definitely some desolate urban places in this city that i would love to show you guys but katie's got the truck leaving me on a walk our hotel did not have laundry facilities so katie's out doing laundry as you can see me a walking expedition now as far as the cityscape we're kind of looking at the best of it here hanging out with our family it's definitely not panama city beach where not too far from panama city beach that's the type of thing you're into it's not too far away but you can see here it's very relaxed people are just chilling now to fish here you will need a georgia fishing license which i don't have now I do have an Alabama fishing license. Most of the water here belongs to Georgia, but there's a few spots on the other side that in fact belong to Alabama. And I think my Alabama fishing and hunting licenses may still be valid. Too much on the map to go fishing today. But in the morning, it might not be a bad idea to take a few minutes to fish one last time in Alabama. There is the Chattahoochee River, which of many people have sang about many songs. Alan Jackson himself. Beautiful waterfront here. Unfortunately, on the other side of the river, Alabama. Just kidding. No, but really, it's over there. Now, there are ways that I can grow my YouTube. Like, I used to have a better channel name called Florida Hood Vlogs. The problem with that was that while it attracted a lot of people, they were not there for the reasons I'm trying to be here. I want to start a travel blog channel, neighborhood tour channel, that does something good, brings something good to the table. But it is beautiful. And there are people out there in the middle of the water. Fishing, great activity to do here. Walking and fishing seem to be the two things to do. I might have a fish on Got a fish hunter now. Tap it. You go, bro. Appreciate it. So there are people fishing, and that's a great hobby, great little activity. Um, lots of people fishing with good reason. I mean, this, there's fish in the water, if you can see. Freshwater catfish is good stuff. Saltwater catfish, on the other hand, is, is a little bit different. Um, you can eat saltwater catfish, but it doesn't carry the same um, 
repute you could say as freshwater catfish. It's just uh, different categories. With saltwater, you have you know, so much more you can catch. And I'm not going to say that catfish are not really respected among saltwater fishermen, but it, they're not really the prime catch. Now, Bama down there. Amazing little walk here. Very pleasant. My hotel was kind of expensive. I was like, are we in Fort Lauderdale or something? Because we we're paying, um, you know, Fort Lauderdale, Miami prices for a hotel that's not really on the water. You know, it's on the water, water, but it's not on the water, water. It's not in the you know, ocean. But nonetheless, we had to pay because as we traveled to the deep south, we found that cheaper hotels here don't always carry the absolute best conditions. So your buyers will cough up the money. And disappointingly, even yesterday in Atlanta, we couldn't really find hotels in Atlanta that were every, like every single hotel in Atlanta was basically filled up and we ended up having to kind of pay more than what we would have wanted to. So it seems like Atlanta was kind of the worst. Well, I mean, that's just Atlanta. Panama City Beach was packed so much so that they actually shut down sections of Panama City's front, front beach uh, because there's so many people. Not so much that it was wild and crazy, but that there was just so many people there that law enforcement was like, we have to kind of control this. Tell me, this doesn't remind you of being in New York. Just for a little bit. A little bit of New York. Big buildings. slow it down for you guys and i've had a few of my subscribers that have been asking me for this city so much and i just feel like i had to do it let's see the real attraction here let's see what this is about okay you can actually smell the water here just like this.
thing off the water not that much. They're from Alabama, they don't know better. And if you think your life in Georgia is miserable, there's always a friendly reminder across the river that you could be in Alabama. It ain't that bad. Old school cars, what the, what the crap is this thing? Overall, I would say there is diversity here, but it's on a very small level. And if you're thinking about moving here, it offers some things that other towns won't. But let's not also pretend like there's not problems here in this city. The city of Columbus was named after Christopher Columbus, the Spanish conquistador and explorer. And while in the past it was respected part of the Southern culture, ideology over the years changed. And it's now a part of the culture of the southern region of the United States that some will wish to kind of push aside. But nonetheless, it was named after Christopher Columbus and this part of Georgia, as well as the adjacent part of Alabama, was in those days part of Spanish Florida. And even the flag of Alabama has the cross of St. Andrews on it, which was the flag of Spanish Florida. So, it is true that while well, today this is part of the state of Georgia, this was at one time considered La Florida by the Spaniards and the early founders who named the city Columbus, but we're aware of the city's Spanish roots. And despite the Spanish having quite a fearsome reputation, they also had their good qualities. One, they were great at taking over lands and forcing the people to become whatever they were. I thought that's nice. Hey, you better watch out. Don't go to Alabama, they'll eat you. Hey, you better stay on the Georgia side with that squirrel right there. Let me tell you something. That squirrel, so close to Alabama, he got no idea what about to happen to him. Quite the brave soul. Music in all directions, from classic sounding music to reggaeton, to Jay-Z, I guess. The smell of fresh food is in the air. Women out here in Columbus I should be dressing like that. No. For real? I don't know, they selling it. Somebody out here buying it. Somebody gotta be buying it if they selling it. It's not completely dead, but there's still people out and about. It's a very slow kind of uh, speed of life. Is that a football purse? No, that is the trashiest thing I've ever seen. I gotta get that for my wife. This is the trashiest assortment of purses I have ever seen. This is so 